stronger. One day stronger. One day longer. One day stronger. The struggle that we're facing is exactly the same thing that's happening to workers all across America. The people at the top are keeping more of the wealth generated by our work to themselves. And as a result, average Americans cannot afford to make a living. There's so many like actors that you don't even think about when you watch a program. It's like, it's a huge ecosystem of people. It's not like I'm on the sidelines not doing anything and I want a piece of it. We're all participants in this that make these things that make them loads of money. It's basically like having plants and not watering them. And just being like, we gave you some water, you should be happy. It's unfair that we have to sit here and ask to just be compensated what we originally were, what we used to get. I pitched my last show in this building, and then I had the premiere for that show in this building. Do you know how much I got in residuals for the first full year of that show airing? My work, a show I created, I got $500 for three years of work making six episodes of show that aired for an entire year on the largest platform in the world. And every single person on this picket line has a story just like that. And that is why we are out here. People are gonna be affected all across the board. So it's not just a bunch of performers hoping to get a bunch of money. It's just a basic living wage. And we wanna think about pension. We wanna think about healthcare. And to get health care, you have to work a certain amount of days. And if they get AI in to take pictures of all the background people and then use them for infinity, there's not going to be a need for background actors. AI is a huge topic right now. And I feel like a lot of people don't know how to handle it. It's very confusing and scary for people. And I think it's a real threat to all of the workers, the writers, the actors, but Really, every working person in the world right now can potentially be replaced. I'm really proud of SAG-AFTRA to come out and, um, you know, really call it, you know, because I, I think it's it's so, so important just for the future of everybody's um, longevity and just financial health and, you know, the ability to do this business. And the sense of solidarity that's happening right now is really powerful. And I'm glad that both unions can come together and just power in numbers. So I think it's just a matter of matter of time, right, that our voices are going to have to be heard. I'm glad the strike is happening. I'm glad the WGA and, the, and SAG went on strike, but I'm really sad that it had to happen.